Well, everyone, it's another day, and we got some more Nintendo Switch 2 reports slash rumors popping off out here. And the the big thing about today's rumor and reports as well, uh, we're going to be talking about a major news outlet, actually a few of them uh, leading this report. There is a little bit of misrepresentation of the report based on the presently given information. However, it's possible there is some substance to this that has yet to be discovered because all these reports are coming out of China and getting the exact translations. There isn't full transcripts of everything. So it gets a little bit confusing. So we'll go off the reports and the headlines and the stuff that are happening right now around Nintendo Switch 2 because it seems to be heavily implying that Nintendo Switch 2 is coming early next year, if not the first three months of next year, the first six months, because it all depends on what quarter one means. Does quarter one mean quarter one of the fiscal year, which would be then be April, May, and June, or does it mean quarter one of the you know calendar year, which would then be January, February, and March? Now, we've had one other report that pointed to this time period, and this would definitely be a major corroboration that deals with manufacturing, which would heavily suggest that, hey, you know what, we're getting this damn thing in less than a year. And that would be quite interesting to see when Nintendo would handle announcing it. Could they still keep the doors open to announcing it this year? Yada, yada, yada. So that's why we're talking about this stuff, but we got to go into some uh, corrections after we get into why people are talking about it. And it really starts with this article by WCCF Tech. Now, WCCF Tech is a highly reputable website that typically does a really good job with their journalism. But you know what? There's actually going to be some problems with this article, and we'll get into it in a little bit. But first, let's read what it says. It says, Nintendo Switch 2 early 20. 2024 release was hinted by a Chinese SOC manufacturer. So it says the Nintendo Switch successor has yet to be officially revealed, but it's looking more and more likely that it will release in the first few months of 2024 or possibly for six months, judging from information that was discovered today. As reported by Notebook Check and Money DJ, Chinese manufacturer Pixar, which provided the SoC powering the Joy-Con sensors, as well as other parts for previous Nintendo home consoles, such as the Wii and Wii U, revealed in its latest financial report that a new console from a Japanese company that hasn't launched a new system in years they are supplying parts for will release in early 2024. While the report from Pixar doesn't mention the new Nintendo Switch outright, it's extremely likely the Chinese manufacturer is indeed talking about the yet-to-be-revealed console. Considering it is the only Japanese company that hasn't released a new system in years, something that rules out Sony entirely. This isn't the first time a Chinese company hinted at an early 2024 release date for the next Nintendo Switch. And this is the one where we've already had a report on this that has proven to be uh, accurate, at least, you know, there's no misreporting on it, and that is with Hogzoon, a metal cases manufacturer, revealed earlier this month that they expect an increase in sales in the second half of the year due to Nintendo, they said Nintendo themselves, planning to release a new console in the first quarter of 2024. So again, this is a, a, an accessory manufacturer basically being like... Yeah, we are expecting a massive boom in sales in the second half because of something that's releasing in the first half. And so, yeah, that's quite, quite interesting and is definitely something to pay attention to. If you didn't hear about that news already, there you go. And as already mentioned, Nintendo hasn't talked much about the Switch successor. Back in May, President Shintaro Furukawa stated that no new hardware will be released before the end of the current fiscal year, which is actually a misquote. Another red flag in this article. So this is like the biggest red flag here is that Shintura Furukawa never said that there wouldn't be new hardware released this fiscal year. What he actually said is that no new hardware is currently part of the fiscal projections because, hey, you know, we're not, you know, they're not going to make projections on hardware that hasn't even been announced, right? So they were talking about they were projecting to sell 15 million switches and they were basically inferring none of that 15 million included new hardware. So... Yeah, Nintendo never said there wouldn't be new hardware this fiscal year. That's a common misrepresentation of what he actually said. He was just talking about their financial projections are not based on any potential new hardware because, again, new hardware hasn't been announced. Now, that being said, we got to dive into some stuff here. Obviously, he does go on to mention dev kits and all of that, but that's the, the, here, here's the problem. Here's the problem. They are not the source of this story. All right. So there, while they're a major news outlet that got it a lot of attention, 
they are not the source. Uh, so let's go through their sourcing on this because they mentioned two places. Now, the first place they mentioned is a place called Notebook Check, which is another English website. So let's go take a look at them. And it says Nintendo Switch 2 release date, uh, a release date area strongly hinted at third party financial forecast for Pixar Imaging. So it says a new financial report from a Chinese language media site has once again offered up a tasty morsel about the potential Nintendo Switch 2 release date period. So again, we have to go down this rabbit hole for a reason. It's all going to make sense at the end. All right. This time around, a Japanese game console or a Japanese game machine is mentioned, but evidence in the article points to this being a Switch 2 or next generation Switch. Not long ago, in an article published by Money DJ, talked about Foxconn's business with the item stating that Nintendo was planning on releasing its Switch successor in the first quarter of 2024. This is, again referencing an older report. Now a new financial report from the same source has been discussed on another part of Nintendo's frequent business partners, Pixar Imaging. The intriguing part for Switch 2 observers is this machine translated as this. So just to note, this is like a Google translation. However, it is worth noting that the supply chain pointed out that the Japanese game machine will be launched early next year, which has been absent for many years. The game machine is also one of the key customers of Pixar, which again, Pixar is important because they are a actual, like, confirmed. I looked it up. They are a confirmed manufacturing partner before Nintendo Switch. So, yeah, if they're referencing a the game machine, it's the only game machine they manufacture parts for. Yeah, clearly, they're talking about the next Nintendo Switch. It's not that hard to connect the dots. Anyways, it goes, it, it, this article goes on to note, and remember, most of what WCCF Tech's article says is, Coming from this article, in a nutshell, the article reckons that Pixar has generally had a good business year in 2023 with a boost coming from AI developments and that 2024 could be just as fruitful with the Japanese game machine helping things along. While neither Nintendo or Switch are mentioned, it is likely an allusion to what is commonly called the Switch 2. Pixar has worked with Nintendo on numerous occasions, including with the Wii and OG Switch. The company specializes in CMOS image sensor SOCs and is partially or wholly responsible for the motion camera sensor found on the bottom of the Switch Joy-Con. Naturally, Nintendo would want to work with reliable partners on Switch 2, so Pixar would probably be on board. So, I mean, yeah. Well, based on what they do technology-wise, they'll probably be part of it. Uh, while it could be argued that this Japanese game machine could also be something to do with the PlayStation 5, uh, its latest related hardware, Project Q handheld, is expected to arrive later this year rather than early next year. And the reporter states it uh, comes from the supply chain, giving one of the firmest pointers so far as some, some of the true releasing uh, falling in early 2024. Also, that it comes from someone who hasn't released new hardware in a while. Look, we've got new hardware from Sony not only this year with the Project Q, but in, two, in 2020. Uh, and there's obviously a, a rumored slim or, or some sort of uh, PS5, you know, quality of life upgrade this year, et cetera, et cetera. There, there's a lot of stuff already rumored around PlayStation Plus things they've already released. Now, this article is mostly fine because this article is quoting another article. And they don't make any radical claims in this particular article. So when we go when we go to the original source here, uh, you end up at the Money DJ website. Now I've already machine translated this into English because it wasn't Chinese. So we're just gonna kind of go through this machine translation and figure something out here. And uh, I got to give Family Board some credit on what we figure out here. But it says the CMOS image sensor factory originally phase. Benefited AI marketing, a bunch of garbage. It's worth knowing the supply chain pointed out the Japanese game console will launch a new console that has not been seen for many years early next year. So this is the big one. This is basically what's being quoted. Well, when you go through the rest of this article, you'll notice that nothing is sourced. All right? Nothing is sourced. And the source tends to be the PixArt, um, the PixArt financial briefing. And when people dug through the PixArt financial briefing, it turns out that there's no mention of of this in the Pixar financial briefing. Why? What is up with that? Why is there no mention of this at the actual, like, you know, they're claiming Pixar said this, but then Pixar didn't say this. Here's the problem. Here's where all of this gets really confusing. And again, while I'm banned at this place, I do need to give a shout out to Fami Boards that does stay on top of all of it. I'm literally opening this thing as we go here because there's additional information here that we don't have uh, from. And that is uh, this post right here. Let me uh, sh open this up and show you guys. Uh, so we have a post over on Family Boards uh, saying here that Pixar did do a QA, uh, but they didn't transcript the question. So we don't have any actual translations to look at when it comes to the QA section. And people are wondering if the Money DJ place, which people aren't really questioning their validity here. They're just wondering, 
hey, can we verify what was said? And right now, it's almost impossible for WCCF Tech or Notebook Check or any of these places to verify any of this. And that's the problem with the reporting is the reporting doesn't include verifications. And when it doesn't include the verifications or the note that this is unverified information, it's difficult. But this is a link to the Q&A. And when you open it up, I mean... It, it, it's exactly what you would expect. It is a so it is it is a QA session going through all of their financials over 24 minutes, and uh, for the most part, we don't have any translations of what was said here. So as I'm clicking through all of this, um, you got this QA section. This is the big section. So this first section has a translation. This last section doesn't, and so we aren't even sure what questions were asked. Uh, what was stated, uh, and it's possible in this giant QA sector here that we do actually get this inference that, yes, they are expecting pretty good sales in 2024 as well due to this system that's releasing in the first quarter of 2024. So it is possible this statement exists, but Money DJ doesn't do a good job explaining where in the report they got this information because it's not actually in there's like a 53 page report it's not actually in the 53 page report and it could be in the QA section but like Nintendo so it's like when we get Nintendo's financial reports right they have this in a Q&A the Q&A always comes later but we often have people attend the Q&A that English translate us in real time to give us some of the stories that doesn't happen with this company Pixar doesn't have this happen so what ends up happening is we don't we, we have no way of verifying this because I don't speak native Chinese. I'm not going to listen through the 12 minutes here. Uh, I tried to get it machine translated through, you know, programs that, that understand and, and try to try to translate um, spoken word into text. And that was a giant mess. It didn't really work. I don't know if maybe our AI technologies aren't advanced enough yet for that. But the bottom line is I was chasing down this story all day because something didn't smell right just digging through source after source and finding out i have no way to verify that this was ever said i can't say that it wasn't but i can't say that it was and it's a little frustrating when the way we receive this information from overseas isn't you know adding in the caveat of they were unable to verify this they're just trusting that notebook check verified it who is trusting that money dj verified it when money dj isn't even stating exactly where the quote came from and because machine translating money dj isn't an exact science anyways because chinese doesn't translate perfectly into english it's also possible that that entire paragraph is a misquote and it's actually talking about their prior stuff like the other articles brought up. the other articles brought up prior reports about switch coming in quarter one and it's possible that entire paragraph is referencing a prior report so it, it, it's very interesting how this is basically an unverified machine translated story that's spreading like wildfire and nobody seems to be able to verify it and again i went through family boards because there were some chinese speakers on there to see if they wanted to go through and the effort no one really wants to seem to go through the effort because it's very boring to listen to I, i'm sure by the end of the day we'll probably have the real truth in this and if it was actually talked about in the q a so what's the big takeaway from all of this the big takeaway is essentially we don't know if this was said that's the bottom line we do know however we do know about an accessory manufacturer. We know about Foxconn and kind of hinting that we would get something in the first half of next year. We know about that Nikkei report that was sort of suggesting second half of next year with mass production beginning sometime at the end of this year. So we, those are reports that we do know that we do have verified that are real. So and within those reports, we have some conflicting information on release, right? We have a, an accessory manufacturer uh, basically saying, hey, this thing's coming out first half of next year, first quarter of next year. We have, uh, you know, uh, Foxconn and Nikkei sort of saying, oh, no, actually, it's going to come out in the second half of next year. The only agreement is that it's coming out next year. They can't really agree on the release time. And so when you're seeing all these headlines and all these reports, including my own video, if you only read headlines and don't care about context that are just like, Oh, the Nintendo Switch 2 is coming early next year, first quarter. Like, we have to keep this all in context. I have always, always, always emphasized context matters. And yeah, we all clickbait. Yeah, we all try to make have, have amazing titles. And I don't shy away from that. Like, hey, this is how it works in the news field. You need to get your clicks. I don't mind 
WCCF's title on their article that get people to come in and click. What I hate is when you actually go in and get the context, it's missing the context that this is all unverified at this point because they personally couldn't verify it. Notebook check didn't verify it. And DJ Money didn't really even tell us where this came from and they didn't get it properly translated in the first place. So bottom line is this. I am probably thinking Switch 2 is in 2024. I think it's coming holiday 2024. But they could do it sooner. And the only thing that makes me think sooner is that the PlayStation 5 Pro rumor is true. I can see where Nintendo wants their own release window. And they might drop it in June. They might drop it in the summer. Maybe it'll be first half. Maybe it'll be the first quarter. We don't know. And I don't think today we know anything more than we knew yesterday. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.